Hey guys, Corey Beasy with Fight Camp Conditioning, and I'm here. I'm going to showcase uh, one of my favorite pieces of equipment I have here in the garage, and it's called the VersaPulley. A lot of you guys have probably seen a lot of the fighters and athletes and stuff like that training on these things, and they are honestly one of the uh, you know secret weapons that we have here. And uh, it's developed by the same guys who developed the Versa Climber. Um, so let me show you a couple details with this thing. So here's basically the two cents on this machine and uh, what it does and why we use it. Um, the idea behind uh, the Versa Pulley is that we not only produce force, but we have to absorb force or slow it down. So you have the concentric and then the eccentric portion of each movement. Uh, what this machine does is it allows, it, however much energy you put out, it matches that energy coming back. So you not only have to produce that force, but then you have to control it or absorb it on the way back. Um, so we use this for a variety of different movements, which we'll go through in a few minutes. But uh, real quick, I'm just going to run you through the machine. It basically has this, uh, this flywheel. At the bottom of that flywheel, if you guys can see down there, there's uh, little hockey pucks. Let me see if I can get you a better angle here. You can see those little metal pucks. And the more um, these little metal pucks here that you have, the heavier or the harder it is to spin that wheel. Okay, pretty simple. It's like adding weights to the bar. Uh, the other piece that's really, really important here is this readout, this digital readout. And basically what that's telling me is the revolutions per minute of that flywheel. So it's basically a direct correlation to uh, power output. Um, so we use this in a variety of ways, which we'll go through here in a minute. But uh, it is really honestly a, a secret weapon for us, for my athletes, not only be able to produce a lot of force, but also absorb it on the backside. First exercise I'm going to show you guys is a, uh, a hand supported split squat. We got the box back here behind us. We got one of the pulleys laying on its back, so we have that vertical component uh, or being able to squat and deadlift and split squat. Today we're going to do it with our, with our hands up holding for support. So all we got to do is just focus on that real heavy explosive split squat. Second exercise I'm going to show you on the verse pulley here is the RDL, uh, basically a deadlift variation. Uh, knees are slightly bent, strong to the torso, hinging at the waist and coming up. Um, but again, the key with the verse pulley, which is really difficult, you can't see this stuff on a video, is that not only am I having to lift or, or produce force on the way up, but then that machine, the verse pulley, matches my force and yanks me back down. Um, so it has that eccentric overload on the way back down, which makes all these exercises incredibly taxing. But let's take a peek. This next drill is a uh, staggered stance row. Uh, you could do this on, uh, it's basically real similar to any row you do on any other cable machine. Um, but again, uh, we're going to go staggered stance, so we're having to isometrically hold in a split stance. And then we're going to uh, keep our posture tall and uh, roll with the cable as hard as we can without losing posture. Again, the, the tough part, I've seen a lot of really, really strong guys do this, is they can produce a ton of force. So they just yank like crazy, and then they get pulled off their feet when the machine pulls them back on the eccentric piece. So you really got to sit low. You got to be ready for that, and you got to pull, and then... And then also resist and, and slow and absorb that energy on the way back before you start your next rep. So it looks something like this. This last one is a wood chop with a weight shift, and basically what we're doing is we're going to stand perpendicular to that machine, shifting our weight side to side, and then uh, pulling that pulling that cable across. You might have maybe done this type of stuff with a regular cable machine, resistance bands, that type of thing. But again, the driver is with that near side leg. We're keeping our posture tall and not allowing that cable to pull us back and losing our, our positioning. 
So uh, let's give it a shot. So there's a handful of exercises using the Versa Pulley here. And if you guys do have a chance, um, you know, I think, again, this is a super valuable tool for my athletes, not only being able to produce force, but then on the backside being able to absorb or slow that force down, which is crucial for athletics of any kind. Um, the most important thing I think with this one, guys, is you can watch videos and stuff like that all day long and you just won't get it. Um, you put your hands on it, you feel it, you feel the resistance curve and, and what's happening when you use this machine and it's really, really remarkable. Um, so if you do get a chance to see these guys at a trade show or you can get out here to California or find a gym in your local area that has one, definitely get out there, check it out and uh, put your hands on it because I think it'll change the way you think about your training.